Welcome to the technical demonstration of Bibola project. We are making delay tolerant network on Android phone. And we divide our demonstration into the following sections. First, we will explain the overview of the software, what the components inside the software are. And then we will show how to sending and receiving bundles between two machines. One is in Android and another one in server. And then we will show the communication between three machines and making the Android acting as a bundle carrier. And after that, we will show the email integration. And then I will conclude the presentation. The overview of the software is that it consists of three components. The first component is DTN server. DTN server is a back-end Android service. Is it running as a daemon? So even though the user are using his own web browser or doing something else, the DTN service is still running. So it can sending and receiving data. But in order to make the user able to interact with the service, we also develop the DTN manager, which is the tool to managing the service. For example, to start and stop the service. And on top of the service, we also making an example applications. We have two applications now, which is DTN send and DTN receive, by make it possible to sending and receiving text message from the phone. Let me tell you more about delay tolerant networking or the protocol we are working on. First of all, we will have the bundle protocol and convergent layer that we implemented in Android platform. And this platform was running on top of TCP IP in order to make the communication possible. And we also make the application layer on DTN send and DTN receive that I showed you before in the previous slide. And all of this implementation, we are following the standard, which is IFC 5050, that we will show later on that our implementation is able to communicate with existing implementation, which is DTN2, the implementation in C++ developed by the DTN research group. Next, I'm going to show you the sending and receiving of bundles. Android phone will be communicating with DTN2 software. First of all, let's focus on the Android application. We are now going to open the application. Right now you will see the user interface. On top, you will see our logo, and then in the middle, you will see all the control interface. We have the start and stop button and config button. This for controlling the application or the DTN server running behind. Let now begin running the DTN server. We press the start button and then we get the noti notification that the daemon is running. Now we can start trying to send something by first going into the application. Then we will see the list of existing application. Let's now try to send something by open DTN send application. Then we will come to the DTN send application. On the top, you will see the destination endpoint ID or the destination of the data we would like to send. And then on, on the below, we can start putting some message. Let put something hello from Android. Let's now try to send something. We press the send button in order to initiate the sending process. And then we will get the notification later on the top of the screen that the button is already transmitted to village. Let's now go back to see in the village. You will see that previously the button storage was empty. Now you see that the server is receiving some data. It's in the server, but no application is reading it. Now we are opening another application which is DTN receive in order to take that data. Uh, focus on the endpoint ID that we specified before. It has to be exactly match the data that we were sending from the Android. And now we will try to receive something. Now you see on the right hand side that exactly the same message that we type on Android phone. And we are receiving it now on the server. Let's now try the other way around, trying to send some data from the server to the Android phone. Now we're trying to send using the DTN send command. You will see that we specify the source endpoint ID with minus S option and specify the destination as Android. And we put the message as hello from village 1. And now we will try to send the message by pressing enter. And then the message will be converted to bundle 
and then transmit automatically to the Android phone. Now let's see in the application, you will see the number of bundle was increased from 0 to 1. And we also get the notification that bundle was received. Let's now go back to the application. We would like to try to read the message we just got. First, we press the application button and then we press the DTN receive application. Let's now see the destination endpoint ID we would like to receive. It exactly match the one we were sending before from the server and we can start receive by press the receive button. Then the application we try to receive the message and get a notification that we just received one message. And this message is hello from village which is exactly the same as we sent from the village machine before. Now we demonstrate that we can communicate between DTN2 and Android machine. Let's now move on to the next demonstration, which is DTN Bundle Carrier. In this way, we will try to make Android phone acting as a bundle forwarder by carrying data from the village server to the city server. Now we are connecting to the city server and we are going to send some message for the village server. We use the DTN send command. Let's first examine the source which is the minus s option. We send from the city and we are sending to the village and we will type the message at hello from city to village. Then we will send the message. Then let's now go back to our Android phone. We see that Android phone is receiving one bundle because the number bundle was changed from 0 to 1. We are going to move from city network to the village network by changing our network configuration in the phone. We will select to Baiwala village network and we will try to connect. Immediately after we successfully connect, we will receive the notification. Right now, the only noti notification we have just bundle received. Now we are receiving the bundle transmitted notification. Let's now move the camera to the city. As you see in the city, now there is the new bundle coming. We can show that it actually the bundle we received from the village by running the DTN receive command. When we try reading, we can see the message was hello from city to village. Exactly the same message that we sent from the city server. Now we show that we can make the Android phone to act as the DTN bundle carrier. Let's now begin with our next demonstration, which is email integration. Let me explain first our network configuration here. We have the city network and also the village network. In city network, first we have the sender laptop installed with our email client. This sender laptop will try to send email to the DTN mail gateway server there in the city network. And then the Android phone will come to the network to pick up the actual email. And when he go to the village, he will transmit to the DTN mail proxy server. After DTN mail proxy server got the email, the receiver of the email in the village will connect and try to get the email. Let's now begin with the sender of the email in the city network. We first trying to send email by firstly specify the destination email address and we put some subject which is hi and we put the content of the email and not just the ordinary contents we also will attach something in the email. We will select the file to attach the one binary file which is the local of Ubuntu in PNG format. And then we will press the send button to actually send this email from the city. Now move to see the Android phone. You will see from the number of bundle is it increased from 0 to 1. So now we are receiving the email from the city server. Let now we move the Android phone to get into the village network. Now we are trying to connect. When we are in the network, the bundle will be transmitted automatically. Let's now have a look at the receiver side of the email in the village network. We will see that we are now receiving new email. Let's now open to see the content of the email. It was successfully received. We are receiving email from that address with the same contents. Also, with the attachment is still valid. So this is proof that we actually able to send and receive email with attachment using Android as a bundle carrier. Now we demonstrate the email integration and we able to send and receive email from city to village. Let's now move on to our conclusion. We show that we actually have implemented the Android DTN that is compatible with IFC 5050 because we show that we can communicate with existing implementation with its DTN 2 and not just the Android DTN we also implement the DTN mail system that allows the villager to send and receive email to the city.